Hello world. This is going to be a fun little homework project. I believe this is homework six for our current Python programming class. So this is going to be using the GUI zero library. I would like everyone to design their graphical user interface to look similar to what we have here. Notice right in the center, we have basically just a picture box. So we're going to have a picture populate in that box, and I'll have GIFs for class specifically for that. Then pay attention to the alignment, okay? I'd like to have the predominant center line in the center of the form or the graphical user interface. The left of the picture box, and if you look at the orientation here, it should be on the same row of the picture box. To the left of the picture box is a button that says look left. Directly underneath that, just put a regular text box, label box. Not an input box, but just an output box. On the right hand side, a look right, and then a label output box. And then right below the picture box, a label box. And if you'd like, have the starting text, just say label box. That might make our life easy. And then right below there, we'll have a look straight. Under that, a look around. And I also want to make note here that we're not doing any specific code behind these buttons. Just make sure the buttons are set up properly and ready to do code for class. So going back here, we have this look around button. If you remember from last class, so that look around button will likely do a look around function. And then I want to have a large array of buttons. Okay, so we have three across and three down. It just says button. And it'd be absolutely fine if your buttons just say button as well. So notice here the center ones are still center aligned, and I just drew these out to make it nice and simple. So the center ones here are center aligned. Off the right here should line up with what we have off on the right up here. And the same thing over here. So in essence, we really are only working with about three columns. If we need to offset them to the right because of uh, getting them centered, remember to use Blake input boxes to help push over to the next couple of rows. I will leave it up to you to determine your actual graphical user interface dimensions. Just make sure that you are able to fit all of these items on your graphical user interface. So here again, we'll do a view of the top. Pretty simple and straightforward. And then the view of the bottom. There's just a large array of buttons that we can do a number of different things with. If you get this all done before class on Thursday, then we should be able to have a good head start and start putting together some nice work in our programming class. Hopefully you learn something. Hopefully you'll be able to have this done prior to class. Please like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you Thursday. Goodbye.